All right, let's get it. On and popping. Hey. Hey, girl. Hey. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. I don't want to make this a long intro, but yesterday, February 11th, turned one year that I've been making videos on this channel, and I'm so excited, you guys. I can't believe it's been a whole year. I feel like this past year has been like the best year of my life, like hands down. It really has. You guys are literally my life. I'm so happy, and I love you guys. And I'm gonna have a really big giveaway coming up soon. I haven't done a giveaway in a while because I'm trying to do a really, really big one. So. <clears throat> Stay tuned. God, I feel like this is gonna be a really long intro, but I just wanna get this stuff across. So this video is pretty much dangerous life hacks or like dangerous things that girls do for beauty. It was actually really hard for me to film this video because I was trying to try all of them out and some of them I just couldn't try out. This video is also a collaboration with a life hacks queen herself, Natalie from Natalie's Outlet. Natalie is one of my best friends here on YouTube. She makes amazing content and if you like life hacks and you like a bunch of like crazy stuff, you're gonna love her channel. So make sure you go check out her video. So go check her out. I'm gonna link her video down below. Go tell her I sent you, subscribe, comment, and if you like this video, comment, subscribe, wait, what am I saying? If you like this video, you know, click that like button, go check Natalie out, subscribe to her, and let's get on to this video. Hey, dab. Okay, so the very first life hack that I would say is dangerous are ear candles. Ear candles are pretty much, it's like a candle, but it's like tissue in a way, and you would put it in your ear. You light the candle on fire, and it's supposed to be some kind of like cleansing thing for yourself. And also I heard something about cleaning out your ears or something, like the earwax. Supposedly some doctors say it's healthy for you and for your well-being, and others say that it's complete baloney, don't try it. The ashes could fall into your ear and burn you, which makes complete sense. This is like a funnel, it's not like a full-blown candle. And you could actually make your own, you could buy these, or you could get it professionally done like at I'm guessing a spa. I decided to make my own. I have some wax flakes that I bought at Michael's. I just used a regular sheet of paper, kind of poured some of my wax on top, and then rolled it up once it was like a little bit cooled down. Then popped it in the freezer for a bit until it got hard. Put it on my ear, I lit it on fire, and it was really uncomfortable. And you could actually hear the paper or the candle burning. I don't like the feeling. I had to take it off immediately. It started to feel funny. What I saw online, it really cleans them out like really good, but it's also really dangerous. I don't even see how that can be healthy, but I genuinely would not try it. The next hack, or it's not necessarily a hack, actually, a lot of these are not hacks. It's just things that people do for beauty that's kind of ridiculous, is Sharpie as eyeliner. I know Taylor Swift mentioned once that she uses Sharpie for her eyeliner. Was it her eyeliner or her eyebrows? It wasn't her eyebrows, I mean, unless she was like a chola or something. But I'm sure it was her eyeliner that she was talking about. I think she said she used it once or twice when she was younger, but I was gonna try it on my eye, you guys. But this was one of those things that I just couldn't do because it's a freaking Sharpie to your eye, dude. Why would anybody do that? I understand if it's an emergency, but wouldn't like that swell up your skin? I would think your eyes are so sensitive that I would think it would swell your eye, give you a pink eye or something. It's just not safe. I don't even need to Google why that's not safe. It's just not. There's so many chemicals in Sharpies, any kind of markers. They're not meant for your eyeballs. I feel like this is really dangerous. Like what if I get an eye infection or something? I don't know about putting a Sharpie like on my eye. It has a lot of chemicals. Like what if I get an eye infection? This is just insane. I feel like I could see myself doing something stupid like this like when I was in middle school or like in ninth grade. I cannot. I'll just show some pictures of people doing it or something because I can't do this crap. Okay, so this thing that people do, I've seen it before because I, I don't know when it was. It was a while back that I was looking at YouTube videos. Way back, like before I started YouTube videos, I'm gonna say like three or four years ago. People would put a freaking nail between their two front teeth. They would hit it with a hammer to get a gap in between their teeth. Women look really beautiful with their gap and stuff, but I mean that's something that should be just natural or if you really want a gap between your teeth, go to a dentist or something. How the heck do you put a nail and a hammer to your mouth? I tried it out a little bit and I didn't try it out as in like try to freaking bang it across my face. Barely even tapped my tooth, you guys, and I can't even believe I did this. Hammers are heavy. I felt like I could have chipped my tooth off just by hitting it barely. But I just wanted to show you guys, don't do that crap. Wouldn't it chip your tooth off if you miss? What if when you're doing it, like you break both your teeth off? It's just little things that people do that I'm just like, what the heck is going on? Okay, this next one is one of those that I can't try for obvious reasons. It is setting your face on fire. 
they put like a towel on your face with alcohol and then they light it on fire and just for seconds right before it reaches to your skin they put it out and the benefits of this is supposedly it combats colds it helps with weight loss and cures those oh snap maybe I should try it <laughs> just kidding it's also supposed to like help you from aging or something like that it's one of those things that if you were to go to a professional spa it kind of makes sense like with a professional but if you really think about it that is just borderline insane who even thought about this like oh let's light our face on fire and see what happens I guess it has some benefits but I just feel like I wouldn't try it and there's something you should not try at home no matter what no matter how much research you do I would not try this at home so this next hack it's not even I don't know I saw it online it's about setting your face your makeup with hairspray I haven't set my face at all today I've been wearing this makeup for a few hours now so I'm gonna set my face with some hairspray my face is probably gonna be sticky the rest of this video hold on you guys I will be right back uh, it doesn't say what kind of hairspray you need to use I mean I would think it's dangerous first of all like this is hazard fire hazard hello on your face and then again you think about it and there's people using like is a shave cream or after shave cream that they're using like for primer and stuff and I heard that works amazing but I mean hairspray to set your foundation and stuff I just don't know. Hold on, not enough. Oh my god, no! <gasps> Whoa, my eyes are like getting stuck together right now. Yo. Dude, I'm like breathing in so many fumes right now. If I were to put a freaking lighter next to my face right now, I'd probably explode. Oh my god. What kind of sorcery is this? Oh my god. This is like pretty much putting gasoline on your face. I mean, I would think I'd rather not wear a setting spray on my makeup than wear hairspray on my face. Come on now, get it together. Who made this hack up? I mean, it might work for some of you guys and I'm sorry if I'm insulting anybody that does this, but how the heck does it feel good on you? Am I using the wrong one or what? It just doesn't look safe and it doesn't feel safe. The next thing that people do for beauty that isn't necessarily safe and it's dangerous, everybody knows this already, but I just feel like I have to say it. It is tanning beds. No matter what you hear at tanning salons, no matter what they tell you, everybody knows Knows it's not good for your skin as scary as this may sound to some of you guys a tanning bed might as well be a casket I would sound really stupid going up to someone like stop tanning You're doing something bad to your body because it's like well I'm doing something bad to my body too by eating too much. You know what I mean? So it's like why am I gonna judge you? But what I'm trying to say is it's one of those things that we all know is unhealthy and a lot of us do it I've never ever tan in a bed, but I do tan like with um, the lotions and stuff and they're probably not safe either but <laughs> I'm no scientist but I'm not that smart with stuff like that not gonna lie but I feel like it might be healthier just facts that I'm saying kind of dangerous and I think that is it on all the ones I gathered thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys understand that I couldn't try all of these out for safety reasons but I tried I hope you guys enjoyed this video click the like button if you did it doesn't pay me or anything all the click all the click all the like button does is pretty much if you like it it kind of recommends me more in suggestions I think that's what it does I think so yeah don't forget to go check out Natalie's video I'm gonna link her video down below like I said love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video bye too far <laughs> I was trying to do this one thing but I got a new lens and it's farther away from me so it's like I can't do it later bye guys